Good morning. This is Tabby Cat Meow for the Primal Cast Collective. Today I'm showing you how to do the Rhymes Round Farm. First, I will be showing the normal intended method of completing the Lewis Spy Mission with the three most suggested frames for this farm. Then, I will show the fastest way to complete. Not everyone will be able to start doing the fastest way without having to rank up a couple of syndicates first. That's why I'm going over the primary way to complete it. It's a complicated set of puzzles involved moving between past and present, avoiding traps and lasers in a maze. These three frames are considered best to use for this farm for different reasons. Ivara has the Infiltrate Mod, which will allow her to go through lasers while in Prowl without triggering them, but is not immune to knockback or cold traps. You can counter these effects with Surefooted or Prime Surefooted Mod and a Rank 5 Arcane Warmth or Insulation Mod for cold resistance. Limbo's Rift Walk will make him immune to all status effect traps, but will be detected by lasers if he makes direct contact with a beam. Titania doesn't have to worry about traps or lasers. She can just fly right over them. Why would you want to do this mission? You click the thumbnail so you know it's for Rhyme Rounds. It's an extremely rare mod that only has about a 5% drop chance from completing all three vaults in a Tier 2 spy mission, or about 7% chance from the Lua spy mission, which is why it's better to farm it on Lua, the most complicated spy mission in the Origin system. It's rare enough drop that it's actually worth some platinum, uh, usually around 25 to 35. If you can complete the mission fast enough, you'll have better odds of getting it. I've edited these three playthroughs so they're completed roughly at the same time, but it's obvious that Ivara's run appears to be more sped up than the others. Titania's run is a little longer than it could have been because I played it first and forgot how to do the puzzle for a minute. It's much easier by the time I came to Limbo's turn. While the rest of the mission finishes out, I'm going to pose a little Q&A. Which frame do I suggest to use for this mission? Titania. There are much faster frames such as Gauss and Vault that theoretically could finish faster if the mission was in a straight flat line. Titania can fly over all obstacles but faster frames have to jump or duck under broken objects and will probably spend too much time being stuck under rubble or in a corner. Can Titania be faster? Yes, I use five mods to increase her speed. You can mod her sprint speed up to two without any issues. Just leave a spot for sure-fretted mod. Going that fast can ragdoll you, slowing your progress without knockdown resistance. What other mods will help? The Augment Razor Wing Blitz is a speed mod for just Titania when flying, and preparation will let you spawn with full energy. No need to wait or use consumables. Natural Talent will cut the ability casting animation in half. You might have noticed in Vault C there is a circular room with six pillars and a target above the door with six lights. Triggering the target, the lights will randomly light up. This is a shortcut if you're smart enough to figure it out. It takes you straight to the console bypassing the next three rooms with the hardest part of this puzzle. All you need to do is touch the pillars in the order they appeared around the target. I missed the first time I tried. Then I got a very simple sequence the second time. A laser will appear on the ground every time you fail, making it a little more challenging. You may encounter a number of Drift Mod Halls of Ascension puzzles, but not the Speed Drift puzzle. I've never seen that challenge on this node. If you don't know what I'm referring to, Check the video for the Lua Halls of Ascension Puzzle solutions here. These mods are not in demand like they used to be. I wouldn't bother with them since they take too much time to solve. Crossfire Examination on Plateau Lua would be a better mission since all these puzzles have a chance to spawn there. The music puzzle, however, is the one I will always do. It only takes about a minute and you have a chance to get a fully built forma. That puzzle solution is also in the link video I mentioned. These three runs are about to finish. I have paused on the extraction screen to show you my time. These are just examples. I hadn't completed this spy mission like this way in a very long time, and you'll probably have a lot more experience navigating it to get better times. The next clip is about two minutes long.
time will not be modified. And when it finishes, I'll explain what you need to do to set it up the way I have it. Something I wanted to point out, ciphers are not required, but helpful if you're no good at solving them, and it'll save you some time. Having a dojo, there is a 100 times cipher blueprint for 15,000 credits in the Tenna Lab, and you can build them on a massive scale. It's costly, both credits and materials, but worth the investment. The alternative is getting the 10 times cipher blueprint from the market for 250,000 credits. Please note that credits and materials needed to make 100 ciphers from either blueprint is exactly the same. It just takes 10 times longer to make it if you use the one from the market. There is a Parazon mod called Auto Breach that has a 7% chance to drop from a tier 3 spy mission for a 30% chance to auto hack the console for you. These are the spy missions that are found on Pluto, Neptune, Sedna, and Uranus. This method will work on a lot of spy missions, but not all of them. You need to be able to see the vault console for it to work. Some Grenier spy vaults will make you complete the steps before you get to the vault before it works, but you might have better luck than me and get it to work for you. What is going on in this video that is different from the first videos is I'm using the Allura MOA with the security override mod it comes with. It will auto hack consoles within two seconds. How I get it through the glass is with the helmet ability master summons. I can call my MOA wherever my reticle is pointing to. You might have seen the blue MOA icon on the vault console. The Allura MOA will pathfind its way to the icon just make sure you don't go into Razor Wing for at least two seconds since it puts the MOA back in your pocket. At rank three with the Entrati, you will be able to purchase the Helmuth segment for your orbiter. This will allow you to collect certain abilities by sacrificing your normal frames. These abilities can be transferred to different frames for them to use. There is a very specific list of abilities it will take and there's only one ability per frame. You can only replace one ability on a new frame per loadout, which means you can put a different subsumed ability on your A, B, and C loadout screens, but you can't mix more than one at a time. There are also abilities that come with the helmet, or you can unlock by ranking it up. This is where the Master Summons ability comes from. I recorded this footage from my Mastery Rank 12 account. I haven't leveled the helmet very much and Mastery Summon is available, so I do believe it's always available. Reaching rank 2 with Solaris United, you can purchase the MOA parts that you need from legs. The only part that really matters is the head, the Allura MOA. You get the security breach mod it comes with, but the rest of the parts for this purpose can be the cheapest ones. You aren't going to be fighting, so it doesn't really matter. Take the parts back to your orbiter and build them. Once it completes in 24 hours, return to Leg so he can build it for you. MOAs aren't like regular pets when you want to upgrade, and you will not earn mastery for MOAs until you've ranked it to 30. Head back to Legs and pick other services from his menu. This will allow you to guild your MOA. Uh, it will let you add a mod polarity like using a Forma, and then you'll start earning mastery. This is my build for Titania. You don't really need all the fancy mods like I use since you won't be in combat very often. I definitely recommend the mods I talked about earlier like Surefooted, Natural Talent, and Preparation because nearly all the other mods are for speed, efficiency, and parkour velocity. I have replaced her second ability with Master Summons because it seemed less likely I would need to use that, but you can replace any of the first three abilities really, just not her fourth. There is no reason to use Titania without her Razor Wing ability. You only need one mod for the Allura Mora for this to work, Security Override. But since I can use any companion weapon, I pick Virgilus Prime. Now that this MOA is strong enough for Steel Path, I might as well mod it just like a champion. The 7% chance means that only about 7 out of 10 missions will even have a chance for Rhyme Rounds to drop. I've run 30 missions in a row some days and never got it. Other times I can get 3 or 4 drops in a row. If your luck is bad and it's close to reset, 
take a break. Try again after reset. That sometimes helps. I also do not farm on days that contain a tea, like Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, until reset that night. It's bad luck for me. There are lots of mods that drop here that can sell for 5 to 10 platinum, so it's not a total bust if you don't get it. Watch my video where I show what trading on Warframe Market looks like in-game. I sell a handful of items in about 10 minutes to make around 360 platinum and recorded what it looks like from the seller's end. I hope you found this video helpful. It has been a requested topic among my alliance and even complete strangers I've ran the mission with who also sometimes try to kidnap me into more runs. I need more fingers and toes to count the number of times a random player has forced started the mission over just to keep me there. Please subscribe and don't forget to like to help motivate me to keep posting in-depth videos to explain how things work in Warframe. This is Tabby Cat Meow for the Prime Outcast Collective. Good morning.